What up, y'all? It's your man Maze for KicksInTheCity.com, coming to you live from the Nike ID studio in Nike Town, New York City. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that the New York football giants just won Super Bowl 42. And I got my man right here, just. You got them right, the New York Giants won the Super Bowl. What you gonna do with that? Tell them, Tuck. We won the Super Bowl. I got my <laughs> I got my man Justin Tuck sitting right here. What's good, Just? What's good, man? How you feeling? I'm good. good. So, like I said, unless you've been living under a rock, and like my man Clark Kent just said, they won to a bowl, 42 world champions. So we're here today, like I said, Nike ID studio, Nike Town, New York City, my man Justin Tuck. And he's designing some sneakers for a special promotion they have going on at Nike with the Let Me Play Foundation. So I'm going to tell him, uh, I'm going to let my man Justin talk to you a little bit about that. What's going on today, man? Yeah, man, uh, you know, me, Michael, and uh, DJ Clark Kent, you just got together, and uh, we've been trying to put this together for a little while now, and uh, I mean, obviously, whenever we get the opportunity to give back to something like this, it's, uh, it's a great event, so I'm just, you know, thankful that we was able to put it together, you know, thankful of Nike ID, and uh, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, raise a lot of money for charity. Right, make a change, and nothing wrong with that, right? Absolutely. So what they're doing today is DJ Clark Kent, of course, the designer extraordinaire, is helping my man Justin Tuck and Michael Strahan, world champions, again, I'm just going to plug that one more time, world <laughs> champions in the Super Bowl. Of the world, Craig. Of the world, Craig. Of the world. So, like I said, oh, wait a second. World champions of New York City, of the goddamn world. This is the internet, so I can say whatever I feel. I told you, New England, ooh, Dre, I told you you was going to get your ass back. <laughs> like he said. <laughs> world champions. So what they're doing today, my man DJ Clark Kent, designer extraordinaire is helping them design sneakers that are going to be released exclusively here at Nike Town New York City and proceeds from the sales of the sneakers are going to be going to the Let Me Play Foundation which helps build courts around the United States from recycled sneakers so make sure you check that out look that up on nike.com as well so like I said before I got Justin Tuck here so I got to ask him some questions about the Super Bowl is only right yeah, so now take me back it's been a while mm -hmm. it's been about two weeks now right seems like yesterday I mean, uh, just the Super Bowl event itself was amazing. But, you know, once we got on that football field, man, everything kind of like, you know, went back to just regular old football. And luckily for us, man, we was out there. I think we played our best game. Got a, got the opportunity, you know, sack Brady a couple of times, you know. And uh, Eli and Tyree made the catch. Plaxico, you know, caught the touchdown pass. And the rest is history, man. Uh, so now when you first stepped on that field for Super Bowl, been you know playing your whole life for this. But what was going through your head at that time? Honestly, I was I was probably the last person to come on the football field because I was just trying to stay calm. Uh, I realized that uh, you know the Patriots had been there you know probably like I think four times, so they they knew everything to expect. And I just wanted to stay calm and go out there and just play football, man. They didn't want to get caught up in all the hype. So when I went on the football field, it kind of hit me. You know, this is something you've been you know waiting for your whole life. You saw those 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 cameras flashing, all the people, all the signs. And I honestly, I almost passed out. But, uh, you know, luckily for us, man, we just, we resorted back to what we know. And that's, you know, we again, we was on the road. Uh, again, everybody was not giving us a chance to win this game. And, uh, and that kind of, you know, fed into the the excitement and the, uh, the anxiousness to get on the football field. Now, Brady leads this team down the field, and they take the lead. Mm. New York Giants offense takes the field. What's in your head at that point? Honestly, I'm pissed off because, uh, you know, on that play, we had the right play called to stop that pass, but uh, our defender slipped down, so it kind of neglected that. But uh, once we come out of the football field, um, I just looked at Eli and I'm like, hey, man, go make your name. And uh, honestly, I'm just on the sideline. Uh, everybody just chanting, we believe, you know, keep the faith and things like that. And um, I, had, I never had a doubt. I know it's kind of cliche for me to say that now, but honestly, I never felt like we wasn't going to win that football game. Now, when... Eli throws that pass, Tyree, in the middle of the field, and he catches a joint on his coconut. Yeah, what are you thinking at that point? I'm thinking, honestly, there's no way we're not going to win now. I'm already thinking about, you know, getting the size of my ring and, <laughs> and running on the field with the We Just Won t-shirt on. So, uh, honestly, at that point, man, and I didn't even know the catch was that crazy until I got back to the hotel room and saw the replay. Like, I saw, I saw him catch it, but I didn't see him, like, pinning against his head, man. And once I saw that replay, I was like, yo, that's – the best play I ever seen in my life. Com you know, if you combine what Eli did to just to get the ball off and then the catch, I mean that was that was absolutely amazing, man. And Plax catches the fade. Absolutely, uh, I'm so happy for that guy. He you know played all year hurt, and just for him to catch that last pass, I mean it's only fitting. 
and he made the he made the guarantee too, so he had to show and prove at that point, right? Yeah, man. I was, we was kind of pissed at him because he said they was gonna get 17 points, and I was like, they're not gonna get 17 points. And luckily for us, man, we held them to 14. That season low, and uh, you know, I guess you know Tom Brady beat his words because when he heard the, he heard that quote, man, he started laughing. <laughs> you picked a good day to hold them to 14. God damn it! I'm sure we're gonna get a couple more of those for this interview is over. But yeah, man. <laughs> it's all good though. Hey. I'm good for being one out. You good. Man, he's a champ, man. He can do stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Clark can do whatever he wants. Now, there you go. So now ticket tape parade goes down downtown New York City. How you feeling at that point? I feel like a rock star, man. Uh that's that shit was crazy. Uh, I think it was like three million people, uh people chanting eighteen to one. I got I got a couple of, you know, tuck for president posters, things like that. It was it was amazing. Um the the ticket take parade was you know, it was it was crazy, man. So again, just before we, before I let y'all go out there, I got my man Justin Tuck, defensive end for the world champion New York football giants. Nike ID at Nike Town, New York City, designing sneakers for the Let Me Play Foundation. They're going to be released here exclusively at Nike Town in the coming months. Make sure you check out for that. Again, all proceeds from the sneaker, or I'm sorry, some proceeds from the sneaker go to the Let Me Play Foundation. So make sure to check that out. DJ Clark Kent and Justin Tuck design sneakers, all right? Hey, buy my f- sneakers. Buy his sneakers. Peace.